The year 2026 opens with SpaceX's Starbase in South Texas buzzing with activity as the company enters a pivotal phase in its quest to make humanity multiplanetary. The energy at the site is palpable, with teams working day and night, driven by a shared vision of reaching beyond Earth. SpaceX is now pivoting from the successful version 2 prototype to the next leap, Starship version 3. This transition marks not just an upgrade in hardware, but a shift in ambition, as the company aims to push the boundaries of what's possible in spaceflight. The final V-2 flight in October 2025 proved the rocket's core concepts, validating years of design and testing. This milestone set the stage for a new era, giving engineers the confidence to move forward with even bolder plans. Now, the towering V-3, over 400 feet tall, stands ready at the pad. It boasts more powerful Raptor 3 engines, a lighter structure, and a refined hot staging system, all designed to maximize efficiency and reliability for deep space missions. This is the version SpaceX believes can finally reach Mars, carrying not just cargo, but eventually, the first crews to set foot on another planet. The stakes have never been higher and the excitement is matched only by the challenge ahead. Progress has been rapid, though not without setbacks, a damaged V-3 booster in late 2025 delayed the debut flight to early 2026. Each obstacle, however, has only fueled the team's determination to improve and adapt. The upcoming Flight 12 is now the most anticipated test, with its outcome set to shape the future of interplanetary travel. Success here could open the door to regular missions beyond Earth orbit and perhaps the first real steps toward Mars colonization. Engineers work around the clock knowing every detail matters for a rocket designed to go far beyond Earth. Their dedication is evident in every weld, every inspection, and every late-night problem solved on the factory floor. The early days of 2026 aren't just about testing hardware, they're about laying the first real foundation for a bridge to Mars, and for the future of humanity among the stars. Starship's immense size and unprecedented power make it a true game-changer for launching satellites and resupplying the International Space Station. Its ability to carry massive payloads and operate at a scale never before seen in rocketry opens up new possibilities for space infrastructure and exploration. But Starship's true purpose goes far beyond Earth orbit. Its most ambitious goal is nothing less than the colonization of Mars, turning humanity into a multi-planetary species. From the very beginning, Starship was envisioned as the backbone of a revolutionary system designed to build a self-sustaining city on another planet. Every design choice, from its stainless steel construction to its massive payload bay, serves this vision. Mars demands a vehicle capable of moving not just a handful, but hundreds of people and thousands of tons of cargo, something no expendable rocket could ever affordably achieve. Starship is built to make this scale of transport routine not exceptional, that's why Starship is designed to be fully and rapidly reusable, aiming for airline-like operations at a fraction of traditional launch costs. This reusability is the key to making interplanetary travel sustainable and accessible. Even Starlink launches are more than just business, they're crucial stepping stones, testing vital systems and refining operational procedures for the ultimate Martian mission. Every test flight, whether it ends in success or failure, provides invaluable data and lessons. Each one is a critical step on the path to making humanity a truly multi-planetary civilization. Starship isn't just a bigger for nine trials on trial and sedals and so and trafon. It represents a fundamentally new class of machine built for a future where space travel is routine and accessible to many. For Elon Musk, Starship is more than a rocket. It's the key to humanity's future in space, a vessel for hope, survival, and exploration. With each launch, we move one step closer to carrying the dream of a new world across the void to Mars, forging a future where humans live and thrive on more than one planet. Starship's revolutionary features are all about making Mars settlement possible. Every aspect of its design is focused on overcoming the immense challenges of interplanetary travel and colonization. Its massive size allows it to lift over 100 metric tons to orbit, essential for carrying the supplies and people needed for Mars. This unprecedented payload capacity means Starship can transport habitats, rovers, life support systems, and everything else required for a new world. Full reusability is at the heart of the design. Both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship Upper Stage are meant to fly again and again slashing costs. This approach is key to making space travel affordable and routine, not just for cargo, but for people as well. The booster is caught by giant tower arms. Starship lands itself, ready for rapid turnaround. This rapid reusability is a game-changer, 
allowing for frequent launches and quick preparation for the next mission. Methane fuel was chosen for a reason. It can be made on Mars, enabling return trips and long-term sustainability. Unlike traditional rocket fuels, methane can be produced using local Martian resources, reducing the need to bring fuel from Earth. The Martian atmosphere and water ice can be converted into methane and oxygen using the Sabatier reaction. This process is vital for creating a closed-loop system, supporting both rocket fuel production and life support. These choices, size, reusability, methalox engines, aren't just technical feats, they're strategic moves for interplanetary logistics. Each innovation is designed to solve a real problem faced by future Mars missions. Every design element solves a specific Mars challenge, from payload mass to fuel production. Starship's flexibility means it can be configured for cargo, crew, or even in-space refueling, adapting to the needs of each mission. Starship is more than a rocket, it's the centerpiece of a plan to send settlers to Mars and bring them home. It represents a new era of space exploration, where building a future on another planet becomes possible. Each feature is a step toward a permanent, self-sufficient outpost on another world, bringing humanity closer to becoming a multiplanetary species. In early 2026, Elon Musk surprised many by calling a Mars mission in the upcoming launch window a low-probability shot, not a retreat, but a reality check. Instead of rushing, SpaceX is shifting its first serious uncrewed Mars attempt to 2028, giving time to mature the technology and build a reliable fleet. The delay isn't about lost ambition, it's about facing the immense technical challenges head-on. Rushing would risk mission failure and distract from solving the real problems. This move marks a shift from breakneck speed to measured mission-focused progress. SpaceX is now prioritizing safety, reliability, and long-term success over symbolic deadlines. The new timeline reflects a maturing program ready to tackle one of humanity's greatest challenges. The Mars delay is driven by three unsolved technical hurdles. First, orbital refueling. Starship needs to be topped off in orbit by tanker ships, a feat never done at this scale. The first demo is set for mid-2026. Second, the heat shield. Starship's ceramic tiles must survive the brutal heat of re-entry, both for Earth and Mars. Even a single tile failure could be catastrophic. Third, landing on Mars. The thin Martian atmosphere offers little braking, so Starship must execute a flawless autonomous propulsive landing. Each of these must be proven reliable through repeated testing before risking a Mars mission. The 2028 window gives SpaceX time to turn these concepts into flight-proven systems. Orbital refueling, heat shield durability, and Mars landing are non-negotiable milestones. Until they're solved, sending Starship to Mars would be reckless. The path to Mars is about methodically conquering each challenge, not racing the calendar. Every step forward is a step closer to interplanetary travel. Mars may be the goal, but SpaceX is juggling other massive commitments that shape Starship's timeline. The Artemis program demands a lunar-optimized Starship to land astronauts on the moon, with NASA's schedule and national prestige on the line. Meeting Artemis deadlines means prioritizing lunar features, life support, landing systems, over Mars-specific tech. Meanwhile, Starlink's global internet constellation requires a relentless launch pace, soon to be handled by Starship for efficiency and scale. Starlink isn't just a side project, it's the financial engine funding Starship's development. SpaceX also faces fierce competition, with rivals like Blue Origin pushing their own lunar landers. Balancing Artemis, Starlink and Mars is a complex act, forcing tough choices about where to focus resources. The Mars delay is partly a recognition of these competing priorities. SpaceX must deliver on its moon and commercial promises before fully committing to Mars. The shift to 2028 isn't a retreat, it's a strategic regrouping, with Mars still at the heart of SpaceX's mission. The next two years will focus on proving core technologies, not chasing deadlines. The immediate milestone, Starship V3's Flight 12, a critical test of the new design. Success will unlock a rapid series of test flights and, crucially, the first large-scale orbital refueling demonstration. Once refueling and heat shield reliability are proven, SpaceX will scale up production, building a fleet for both Artemis and Mars. The journey is a marathon dozens of successful flights, flawless refueling, and a true assembly line for interplanetary ships. The 2028 window gives SpaceX the breathing room to get it right. With each solved problem, the dream of Mars draws closer.